Hello everyone, myself Suresh Dule and welcome to my channel Our World. Today we are going to discuss about the seismic waves. Okay, so it is introduction to the seismic waves. So first of all, let us discuss about the origin of seismic waves. So seismic waves, these waves are produced during the time of earthquake at a point located several kilometers deep inside the crust which is known as focus or hypocenter. So they generally uh, originated from the point or uh, the uh, focus of the earthquake and it always located few kilometers below the earth crust. From this point the shock waves of earthquake which are also known as seismic waves are originated and they move in every direction from that particular point. The place where the seismic waves reaches for the first time on the earth's surface is called epicenter. So these are the seismic waves they first start at a particular point that is known as focus and from that particular point when they reaches to the surface for the first time that point on the surface of the earth is known as epicenter now from that particular point which is known as epicenter the surface waves are created and they move in all direction at the surface so from the epicenter surface waves of earthquakes are created which are also uh, divided into two types we'll discuss about those types later now seismic waves are also known as earthquake waves the seismic waves are mainly of three types so there are main three types of seismic waves first of all the primary waves or p waves secondary waves or s waves and at last surface waves or long waves now seismic waves types let us discuss about the waves which are created from the hypocenter or focus in the earth's interior part so there are two types of waves produced p wave and s wave p wave or primary waves so these p waves are the fastest these are the fastest wave or seismic waves they travel at a speed of 5 to 14 km per second and it moves to the to and fro direction okay so suppose this is the wave direction and they always will move to and fro in this direction like this okay towards the front and backward so this is the movement of this particular wave or p wave now it contracts and expands during its movement so we can see here that it is actually compressing sometimes and sometimes it actually expanding so this is the whole process of expansion and contraction now it can pass through solid liquid and gaseous substances so this is the only wave which can pass through any medium solid liquid as well as gaseous substances now it can pass through outer core of the earth so the main characteristics of this wave is that it can pass through the outer core of the earth so there are two types of cores inner cores and outer cores and it can pass through the outer core easily and it can reach to the inner core now next is secondary wave or s waves so these are the next waves which are created after p wave and these waves are also similar to s wave uh, sorry similar to p wave but their speed is little bit slower as compared to the p waves so its speed is slower compared to the p wave and its speed is almost 3.5 to 7.2 km per seconds it moves perpendicular to the wave direction or the direction of p wave now it strikes the earth surface with a shaking jerk is also uh, shaking jerk and also called shaking waves so it generally jerks the surface when it actually hits the surface and it also known as shaking waves it shakes the surface of the earth next is it can penetrate through solid substances only so it can pass through solid substances only it cannot pass through the liquid or gaseous substances now let move towards the next part that is surface waves so when this p wave and s wave hits the surface 
or collide with the surface at that time surface waves are created at the epicenter from epicenter these waves are created and they usually travel in every direction with their particular speed and motion so let us discuss about the characteristics of L wave or love waves so love wave also moves horizontally to the direction of wave propagation on the earth surface so it always move horizontally to the uh, direction of wave propagation in the earth surface so this is the earth surface and they will always move horizontally they never move vertically okay and these waves travel at the speed of about 3 to 5 km per second so their movement is very high okay but it is a little bit less as compared to the secondary wave and its speed is almost 3 to 5 km per seconds now the movement of these waves is slightly faster than relic wave and almost 10 percent slower than that of the ace waves so its speed is little bit slower but slightly faster than relic waves now it causes horizontal shearing of the ground so it generally causes horizontal shaking or shearing of the ground it causes traces on the ground surface or earth surface and they can spread through water okay so it can uh, travel through water its its traveling uh, limitation is only on the surface or land surface now next next is these waves damages the foundation of the <coughs> of structures due to horizontal ground motion okay so these waves damages the foundation of the structures they easily damage the earth structure artificial structures man-made structures horizontally when they shake the ground or earth surface and this is very destructive type of wave okay everyone now let us move to the relic wave portion so relic wave <coughs> this wave is also one of the type of surface wave this wave known as ground roll and they spread across the surface with the direction of wave propagation like water ripples so it generally uh, form the repelling types of effect on the surface like up and down uh, we can uh, we have seen the water ripples isn't it when we throw any stone on the water surface we can see the ripples of the water similarly this wave also move to the direction of wave propagation and it generally move up and down in up and down motion and it is generally rolling uh, kind of wave okay ground roll it creates ground roll now they move like rolling ocean waves so we have seen ocean waves ocean waves also used to roll so similarly this rolling effect is seen in relic wave now next is it can move both vertically and horizontally so it can move either vertically or horizontally so both type of motions is found uh, are found in relic waves now next is the mainly uh, the mainly uh, cause up and down movement so as i told you that they cause up and down movement of structural foundation or any other objects on the earth surface now next is these waves are slow surface waves which are slightly slower than love waves and almost 10 percent slower than s waves so this relic wave is slightly so slower as compared to the speed of love wave and it's, it is almost 10 percent slower as compared to the s wave so you can see its movement it is actually rolling here like water ripples or ocean rolling ocean wave rolling and here in case of lava wave we can see the motion is actually horizontal okay it is actually horizontal and it is actually forming right angle to the wave propagation okay so it generally moves side by side to the direction of wave propagation so all of you thank you for watching my channel and i hope you enjoyed it so stay tuned for my next video and uh, best of luck all of you you can like share as well as subscribe to my channel thank you everyone